we have to derive the ampere circuit law for this we use the relation that curl of b is equal to mu not j vector here b is the magnetic field and j vector is the volume current density for this relation you can visit our video on the derivation of curl of b equal to mu not j vector and the link is given in the description now we multiply ds vector on both side now we can integrate on both side so it will be curl of b dot ds is equal to integral mu not j dot ds now look that on applying stokes theorem on this we get that curl of b dot ds integral curl of b dot ds is equal to line integral of b dot dl this is the stokes theorem that we have applied that is equal to integral this mu not j vector dot ds so line integral b dot dl that is equal to the, here mu not is a constant so it comes out of the integral and the remaining j dot ds vector here j is the volume current density so we can write integral j dot ds is as the current that is i so this is mu not i so thus this is the integral b dot dl is equal to mu not i this is the ampere's circuit law that we have derived from curl of b equal to mu naught j.